So hey, it's John. It's about 4.46 in the p.m. Wednesday, February 19th. The landlady's been acting weirder than usual. Uh, I still got one clang on the radiator around, I don't know what time it was, 3 or 4 o'clock, right before my neighbor Tom got home. Uh, she's been in and out of the house under my windows a lot. I mean, like, maybe four to five times already today. The first time she came home from lunch, she went out to free lunch, never misses that. Uh, rarely, uh, slammed the garbage can lid, slammed her door. I videotaped this. It's on my YouTube wall. And uh, came out about three or four more times. Uh, the two times in between the last time she came out, she was pretty quiet, sneaky-like. And then the last time she went, bam, slamming the door when she went back in. So obviously things didn't go her way or she's PMSing or whatever the hell's wrong with her. But... Uh, it's it's odd that she's acting like this. And again, she's still tap, rap tapping on the, the radiator and playing games. And uh, I went downstairs a couple times uh, just in the last uh, hour just to see if she'd come out and talk to me to see what her, you know, what, what bees in her bonnet. But she, she didn't come out. She has her TV on loud. And then when Tom got home, she came out and walked to the front sidewalk with a, with a sweater on, like she was leaving with her pocketbook, and then she came back in. So I don't know if she was waiting to talk to him or try to run into him or what she was trying to do, but he came up the steps right after she uh, went out there and then came back in. So I don't know if she was trying to talk to him or what was going on. But in between all this going on, right before she got home, a detective stopped in, Brooke, uh, I forget her last name, but... Um, left a card for Tom. I, I think he said he got robbed a couple, about a month and a half ago or two months ago around Christmas time. And, uh, I guess they want to talk to him about that. So she left a card. So I made sure he got that, but th there's just all kinds of weird, weird vibes and shit going on. And I'm continuing to film the dirt, and the, uh, the filth of the house. And, you know, just th this, this whole thing is bizarre. I mean, bizarre. Um, again, these detectives can't be here uh, 24 hours a day and see her, or detectives, I mean zoning, can't be here 24 hours a day and see what she does to people, banging, clanging, playing freaking games, trying to get me out of here. Again, she tried to get me for a dirty rug when no one vacuums. She doesn't. She doesn't come up here and vacuum. She doesn't clean her apartment. You can smell. It smells like a dead body down there. Literally, I wish the, the health department or zoning would come in here and smell the smell and locate it, where it's coming from. So if her, if her husband disappeared 20 years ago, I bet you he's down in the basement. Uh, that's what it smells like. It, it smells like a corpse rotting. But, uh, you know, and come up and look at the conditions of these ha this house overall, in general, the trash, the, the mouse droppings, all this shit, because it, it just doesn't seem right. It seems like they're trying to get rid of the whistleblower more and more. And, you know, I, I, I'm being subjugated to all kinds of abuse and harassment and just, you know craziness all the time and and no one seems to be trying to stop it so there's my afternoon vlog i hope you heard that it's just nuts i mean i'm multiply disabled and should not have to put up with this none of it she is a slum lord plain and simple and i mean one of the worst kinds of slum lords she doesn't fix repair things right she doesn't clean up anything she's nasty herself and then she's up your ass with all you know wanting to know all your information who where you're going what you're doing it's like Oh my God, lady, get a job, get a life, leave me alone, you know? But she's, she's, like I said, she stays up all night worrying about what we're doing, clanging on the radiator. I mean, she's nuts. She is insane. So, and she's been doing this for months. I've been telling probation, I'm uh, texting them. I have all the text messages for months and months telling them she's been clanging on the radiator. She's been playing games, you know, along with Fazio and by herself. So, 